Good morning, fellow graduates. I hope you are doing well. You wake up looking fresh this morning. Actually, this came to my mind and I want to make a video on it. I want to talk about how we can use Web of Science to do academic literature search. You know, before the existence of AI, that is before the existence of research rabbit, connected papers, elicit, and the others, most graduate students and researchers were resorting to Google Scholar, to Google Scholar Research Gate to, and uh, Web of Science to download academic papers. And you, and you know, as as a requirement to complete your PhD degree, you need to do some publications. So one may ask, how can you generate all those? Um, how can you get articles or how can you get research peer reviewed articles to do, um, to write your maybe first academic paper or to write your dissertation? So this morning, I want to show you how you can use Web of Science to search for academic literature and then um, progress with your research how we can manually do manually use web of science to look for academic papers so first of all we type in our web of science as is shown over here then we click on the web of science you know for the web of science you can log in with your email account or your, your real email or your institutional email but for this video i'm going to show you how i use my institutional email to um search for papers so first i log i log in with my password my sorry my student id and my password as is shown below and then i click on i click on accept for for it to route me to the web of science and so we from the web of science um, we have the document section that is where you can look for articles in the database and the researcher section. Maybe if we want to look for a prominent researcher, so if let's say I want to look for author identifiers, all right, author identifiers, it shows that find an author record using the author's web of science researcher ID or record, or you can use the organization. So let's say maybe I type in, maybe I type Stanford, Stanford University, all right, and I can search for most recent publications or publication within the within five years and all, all publications. So if I click on publications within the past five years and I click on search, it will pop out researchers who have um, published from um, Stanford University, all right, within the last five years. Okay, so we hold on for it to download, yeah, for it to search for authors, for the authors. Okay, so I want to show you how to log into Web of Sciences with your institution email. So this is my institution and I have my student ID with my password. So I log in directly and see what's going on there. So as I log in with my institution email, I have to wait for, you know, actually I've, I didn't register my institutional email with um, Web of Science, but I can access Web of Science with my institutional email because I, I have access to it, all right. So here we can see several options. Um, we can see the documents. We can see cited references. Um, these are for researchers, whatever I want to do. So you can navigate through the whole page and see what is going on. Yeah. So actually, I go back to documents since I'm going to do literature search. So I click on topic and here it gives me the option of um it, it gives it tells me it guides me um if you want to use topic to um search for articles you can use the um, article title the abstract 
or the indexing. So examples of such titles or such um, topics can, can be robot control input shaping. You have the title. Title refers to the title of the journal article and the others, as you can read yourself. The author, if you know the author of a paper, you can also search using the author and all that. But I'll go with topic. Since I do cryptography, my topic is on sign encryption. All right, sign encryption. Okay. Then I click on search. And I want to see articles on sign encryption. So I can see uh, my topic is stated over here. I can analyze the results over here, as I can see, and maybe download if I want to. But since I don't want that, I go to results for sign encryption. So I click on the results. And this is the citation report. All right, citation report. Um, then I go back again. This I can create alerts, and these are the keywords. So we have we have um, the, we have sign encryption, certificate sign encryption, ring. This is my um, research area. So I see a whole lot of stuff on it, and um, I can see papers from the year twenty twenty four. Yeah, and it gives me publications for the past five years. That is from twenty twenty two. 2024 so i think this topic is really a hot topic yeah so if i want a review article all right review article i can click on just stick on this one and click on refine all right mm -hmm. like this if i do not want that i can clear or and then maybe click on op if i want to open access anyway if i don't want to um, I want journals that have open access articles. I can also click on refine, but I don't use any options here. And the publication years, um, they are fine for me. So maybe I'll just um, refine my search to 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, and 2024. Yeah. And um, document types. Do I need articles or meeting or dissertation thesis? preprint, early access. So maybe I can click on articles and then early access. And the authors, I think um, they are fine. Um, countries or agency, if you want to know which, if you want to, you want articles from a particular um, country, from authors of a particular country, you can also search for, for that. If not, um, publication or source titles, do you want lecture notes in computer sciences, those who publish in conferences, or you want IEEE? I think these things are okay. And the research areas, do you, want, do you wish to consider computer sciences or the telecommunications or that? I think I'll leave it there because I just need some articles. So you can navigate through and see a whole lot. So I will just refine my search with... Um, these two all right these two so in 2024 i have designed a blockchain based network for secure exchange of medical so i can click on that to see what's up with that what's up with that um, paper yeah and it also gives me side reference other papers that i that are also um helpful so if i click on see more data fields it has the web of science um, number and all of that and then the DOI, this DOI is very important. So um, is there any way I can download this paper? Let me see. If I want to download this paper, I can click on link check or link check for full text or free full text from publisher. So let me click on free full text from publisher. And it takes me to the journal homepage of this Taylor and Francis. Yeah. So this is the article. Oh, okay. Wow. So I can view the article. That is the article. I can view the whole article. So I can download the article individually or as or in a in a batch. Yeah. So this is it. All right. This is someone's paper. So this is actually it. Okay, so I can also go back to my research again. Maybe I go back to my search again. 
and maybe there are some paper sounds maybe i can go through and click on maybe let me see which ones i want maybe I can, if i want one two um three and let's say four okay i can just click on them and then um click on download and download them all right so copy query link like this all right okay so 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 sorry so if i needed this one two three four papers it depends on how much articles you want from from that from web of science all right so if maybe i want five or i don't need identity based i don't need it this is 2024 i don't do identity based so i can just click on export all right export so export i have um Export an Excel file, EndNote Online, plain text file, um, RIS software, and maybe export your email. So maybe let me say, let me ex export to plain text file. And I have five results, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so I can say export. Okay. So let's wait for it to export. And if I open my file here, yeah we can see but this is clumsy this is really clumsy so i don't want this all right i do not want this and i'm going to delete this so let's say i'll export using my i want to export using excel so let's wait for and let's see how excel arranges the search okay yeah so this is how it is it is arranged all right yeah and this is uh, 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 not what i was expecting anyway <laughs> not what i was expecting okay maybe i can click on let's re-click again and let's see maybe just click on this three and add, i can maybe create a list here maybe create a new list and say mine papers on my papers um you know I'll, I'll click i'll just type on important this description can be important and create my list oh my god i typed it wrongly so this is um this these are what i wanted so i can just oh i can export um export to anything that i want so this let me just click on one two three yeah because initial ones I didn't like them. Right, and export to maybe Excel. Uh, author article source. Or mm, okay, yeah. Let me just click on this one and see, and see how it's going to appear. yeah so this is uh, this is more refined yeah this is more refined so i can see this is the article the article title here if you enlarge it you can see the author's name the book the article title um the source title and all of that yeah so okay that is it okay okay this just let's, let's, that is it now um let's say you want to do extra search all right you want to do extra search um i can go back to search option and i can click on add another row so i can click on and or or not then the topic what topic do i want to do i just want to search for blockchain because it's also another topic um i do like to light with um cryptography Lightweight, crypto, lightweight cryptography for blockchain systems and um, if i want to add another row maybe do i want to do i want to look for a particular author or something but I'm not interested in that yeah and uh, maybe date range maybe i'll just yeah yeah published yeah yeah published i want to you, you know it gives you a sample on um uh, the type of years you can consider so maybe i want 2022 2024 and let's click on search to see yeah 
Yeah, so it, it takes him back to the same old current, uh, the same old page we initially came about. Yeah, so this is my friend. Wow. Um, um, so that is that is it. We can also go back to the search again. Um, if you want to use advanced search, advanced search is when you advanced search is um, you click on a topic here. Okay, so from here it's used, it shows you um, use booleans like and or not then t yes that is the topic so if i want to look for something i just um type ts equals blockchain blockchain and block blockchain block blockchain so blockchain and ts because ts stands for topic all right ts equals um so encryption then i can say date of publication or maybe year of publication mm. okay then i can say and date all right let me say and maybe year let me just say year i will say 2022 2024 so 2024 and let me click on Oh, okay there's a date range here okay but let's let's see and let's try and see okay so it takes us to the to, to the same page again yeah it just takes us to the same page again um let me see let me try the add date range mm, so i want um last five years yeah so if i want last five let me, let me clear this off as i want publications done in the last five years or let me just choose another topic let's say um ai um blockchain and ai all right ai and let's search and see yes so if we look up we, look, we can get papers published in 2024 um wow <laughs> a security enhanced advertise advertising platform based on blockchain and edge computing in generative ai and a long shot, blah blah blah, a whole lot of papers we want to see. What oh, is Internet of Things proof of authority based secure? Blah blah blah. And we can see the number of references and all that. So basically, that is it. That is it. Um, let me see the citation report. Yeah, so I think this article has really got a lot of citations. Yeah, so basically, that is, that is it. So this is how you can search for um, articles, do literature search um, with from the Web of Science website. This is how you can actually do a literature search for the Web of Science. So I can say add to mark list, yeah, add to my papers, yeah. And maybe if I want to export, maybe if I want to export, I export to maybe Excel. Yeah. And maybe you can click on the author title source as we I showed you earlier. So basically that is it. And um thanks for watching my video. If you have any questions or you feel um stuck with the process, you can leave a comment in my comment section or yeah, and I'll just get back to you. Thank you. And do have a nice day or have a good evening. Bye-bye.